Hello, I'm Andy Jones and welcome to the Get Modern channel. Uh, today I'm going to do a quick demo, an introduction to Win32 app supersedience with Intune. This was recently announced at the Microsoft Ignite 2021 event in March and it's currently out there in preview. Anyone familiar with the SCCM environment uh, may already have hands-on experience with supersedence. It's certainly been out there a little while and uh, quite a bit of feedback and interest has been shown in having this feature transferred into Intune. Um, certainly it seems like Microsoft have listened and luckily we now have, uh, have this available to, to play with. So what is supersedence? Well in a nutshell it's whether you either replace or update an existing Win32 application with a, with a new version of the application or replace uh, an existing deployed application with one or more uh, apps altogether. Uh, this configured and uh, added through the Microsoft Endpoint Management Console uh, where you create uh, a new instance of Win32 app. You configure all the settings and then within the superseding, supersedence uh, settings you create relationships uh, with the uh, applications you've created and deployed. So with that uh, I'll switch over and give a demonstration and we'll have a little chat about it. So as you can see, I'm in the Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center. Um, I've chosen the 7-zip application, which is a Win32 application for my Windows devices, Windows 10 devices. I've got two versions, 16.04 and 19. Um, and in my test, what I'm going to do is install the 16.04 version and then create a supersedence relationship to replace 16.04. Now, in theory, the 7-zip seven not uh, 7-zip application by itself will natively do an update. So, I'll show you how I'm uh, I'm changing that, how I'm testing that within the application settings. If I go into version 19 here, this is an existing uh, Win32 uh, application that's been set up. I've already prepared. If I go into the properties, you will now see under um, a new heading you've got supersedence there, which is preview. I'll open that up and you can now see, as it says here, when you supersede an application, you can specify which app will be updated or replaced. Now, um, one thing, key point to highlight really is that there is a maximum of 10 updated or replaced apps uh, including references to other apps so as it says for example your app references another app um, this app uh, references other apps and so on what what um, happens is you create the relationships and if you've got uh, a network of relationships going on where um, one app will replace another a new version will replace another etc you're allowed to do that up to um, ten, uh, up to ten updates or, or replaced apps. So that's just highlighting that point. One of the key aspects here is that you've got the uh, uninstalled previous version. Um, so as I mentioned, with Seven Zip um, application here, um, I shouldn't need to have this switched on. Um, because the application will already do an update to the previous version. However, I've switched this on myself here uh, purely because I want to test and show um, that the, that it will do an uninstall and it will do an update. Okay. Let me just hit, hit the add button here uh, just to give you a view of what you can see. If I was creating a new relationship, um, it will list so the, the applications that you've already uh, deployed um, and it also gives you a superseded count here. Um, this is one that I did earlier. Um, but you choose the application and then you will choose whether you want to uninstall or not. In my case, I've just, as I said, this is version 16. It's already installed on the device and um, I'm going to supersede that with version 19 that I'm configuring here. Okay. If I look at the other parts 
of the Win32 application. I'm not going to go through setting this up today um, purely because this is about supersedence uh, rather than setting up the Win32 application. But I've chosen to use an MSI version um, primarily because I, I kind of find it a bit more stable and when you do import that application into Intune it will automatically create the install and uninstall commands for you uh, which I find quite helpful. So what's the status of this? Um, I do have this installed on a, Win32, um, a Windows 10 uh, device at the moment which is actually this application I can show you that if I go into um, go into apps here add or remove programs you'll see that I've got the 7-zip 1604 version here which is already installed okay um, what I'm going to do is go ahead and switch this on this version 19 and hopefully we'll get to see uh, what happens What I have to do is just assign it. I haven't quite got it assigned to a group at the moment, so I need to assign it to the right group. Uh, I'll do that under the required, so that so that it forces the, the install onto the device. I could make it available if possible, which will come up in the company portal. Just save that. Now, just to uh, help the synchronization along, what I'll do is I'll uh, go to the device and do a sync, a manual sync. So this is the device here that I want to test on. Do a sync here. And then back on the uh, on the device itself, I will um, open the company portal. This is the company portal application. I'll go into settings and do a sync as well. Okay. Now, how long this takes to do uh, an update? update that application um, is a little bit random to be fair um, so it could be straight away if you've not done a sync or done an update for some time uh, by standard it's eight hours but um, it could um, it could take a few minutes so at this point let me just give you uh, show you the Microsoft uh, website which give you some details on this so Microsoft actually put quite a lot of effort into the documentation for this and um, as you'll see there um, it will give you a run through it show you how to create uh, a super seasons relationship um, and what I find is quite uh, helpful really it will go through the scenarios uh, for this feature but it also gives you examples little legends of the uh, and examples uh, for you to kind of become familiar with so there's there's lots of different scenarios out there depending on what application and how you want to replace it uh, or update it so um, I think giving a description of these is actually quite helpful um, and actually it's uh, better than normal I would say from the Microsoft documentation um, so yeah that's quite good actually um, one thing to uh, note here is that if at any point you then want to go and delete the application even though you created it within MEM uh, Intune won't allow you to do that naturally the reason being you already have relationships set up so you have to go and delete those relationships before you can then delete the application if I go and select the application I set up previously and hit delete I confirm with a yes but you'll see the app cannot be deleted because it's related to another app. Please remove the relationship before deleting this app. thought it's worth noting that in case you do come across this issue. Okay, I had to stop the video there just to wait for the updates to come through from Intune and push the app down. 
but we've now got those uh, pushed onto the Windows 10 device. If I show you the Toast notifications that have come through on the individual device, you can see that um, firstly it informs you that the, uh, the older version is being replaced and that's the supersedence that we set up uh, within version 19. Um, it then goes ahead and uninstalls which was successful. Now if you remember I said that 7-zip would natively just update but I switched the uninstallation on so I had to go through that process first in order to uh, then, uh, then download and install the later version and supersede the, the existing version 1604. So the next step here, uh, working up the page, it shows you that downloading the installing sir software 7-zip 19, uh, it's 1904, um, sorry, 19, and then it uh, goes through the installation process for the MSI, which shows you uh, it was installed successfully. Now if I go back to applications, just to show you that, Adamro programs, um, I can see the list of stored apps there, and there you go, it's got 7-zip version 19. Uh, when I first showed you it was 16, you can no longer see version 16, so um, it has downloaded, uninstalled 16, and superseded that with version 19. Okay, that's uh, supersedence in a nutshell, really. There are other uh, ways which you could demo this. Um, you could uh, basically replace a, a different application, Win32 application altogether. Um, you could actually uninstall a sequence of applications. It may be that your, uh, your business process is decided on a different suite of apps for your uh, employees to use and you want to uh, uninstall a couple of existing apps that they've got installed on their devices and replace them with a new version or um, a new suite of software altogether. Um, in this particular example, it's just a quick uh, demonstration just to show you it working and, uh, and show how Supersedent works. Thanks very much. Hope you found this uh, video useful and you got something out of it. Um, come join us and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of our videos coming out weekly. Um, or follow me on Twitter, my handle's above. I did do a blog post uh, fairly recently on my movetomon.weebly.com website and that pretty much marries with the content here. So if you want to backtrack and see some more of the details then, uh, then please do so. Okay, thanks very much.